What up, what up, what up, y'all? Someone only profit make fly. This is your rant of the day. Today's rant is on Thursday. So I'm not gonna even cap with y'all. I recorded this rant yesterday. The purpose of this rant was yesterday. I just wanted to see how much without me saying it, not that I'm a huge influencer, but without me bringing any attention to it, without me saying it, how many other people uh, would catch on, would realize that yesterday was the day, the birthday of the late, great Huey P. Newton, I should say. Yesterday was the birthday of the late, great Huey P. Newton, if you didn't know, power to the people. Also, not posting that rant because of shit that went down with the politically miscorrect podcast but it is what it is you know i've worked on like real radio and broadcasting so kind of take that shit seriously but that's neither here or there and my life is not even relevant to the purpose of this rant outside of me watching to see what was going to happen um so yesterday was huey p newton's birthday go check in your woke friends see if they remember I find we have this odd thing of like remembering people's death days, but if you want to give them their flowers, even if they pass, remembering their birthdays might be, you know, somewhat important. I, uh, so Huey P. Newton, for most people, is the founder of the Black Panther Party. Uh, for a lot of people who know the actual history and his role more directly, um, we credit him to the growth of the Black Panther Party. Um, as in, so one thing I want to say, people lose this with that movie that just came out with Fred Hampton. Um, Judas and the Black Messiah is that Fred Hampton was 21. I think Huey was like 28 when he died and he spent years in prison All these guys were really 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 young the shit he went to prison for he was framed It was later found out that it wasn't true like all these other racially based pre like you gotta, you gotta run with my logic here, right? Prisons new slavery, so The niggas that used to be able to burn the plantations They figured out a way to make sure they stay on the plantations, you know, like they figured out a way to make white people join the plantations as well, as workers, not as overseers. And they've enabled the cops so that you can't even, like, defend yourself. I think if you watch Judas and the Black Messiah, there were a few acts of vengeance, but some of them are avenging people, but some of them was just self-defense, bro. You know, at the very end of that movie, 99 shots, they shot back once. Once. And that was the Black Panthers. So when people are out here telling you, Oh, we blew up Minneapolis and then Tamika Mallory saying, I mean, Black Lives Matter blew up Minneapolis and then Tamika Mallory saying it was instigators that were put in the crowd and they look like cops. And me and every other black person has videos of these instigators dropping bricks, telling people to tag shit. And you refuse to accept that part of the narrative. You refuse to point blame at other white people, but you definitely want to point out the blacks and the Asians and this group and the gays. And okay, cool. I know where you stand, bro. You don't even gotta hit me with the reverse racism. You don't gotta explain black on black crime. I'm, I'm, I'm privy to what you about. And I don't know if you guys saw that shit in my story earlier this week. I'm gonna post it again actually right now. This old white guy from Brooklyn. Sounds like he's a former cop and he's full Brooklyn accent, you know what I mean? And a dude was saying like, hey, hey, all y'all Trumpers, I see the flags on the way. Don't, don't put them away. who you assholes are. I need to know, see, once you keep your red hat on so I know who not the fuck to talk to when I'm out in the street. I know why you don't got your mask on, I don't gotta ask you to pull it up or whatever, because I understand. I understand who you are, I understand where you at. I'm, I agree with that sentiment. I think QEP would agree with that sentiment. The other part too is Pro was a real thing. The Black Panthers were ended by J Hoover's racist ass and the, the, our government's FBI. And you wanna know how this works? How come there's been no federal charges on the Breonna case? Ask yourself that question. How come there's no federal charges on the Breonna case? Huey P. Newton published a few things. Um, Spike Lee did a movie basically about him. There's many, many ways you can apprise yourself of this man's greatness. Fred Hampton wasn't the only black messiah. Neither was Dr. King. There were many men who sacrificed their lives, their livelihoods, their success, all of it, just to give the rest of us some semblance of parody. So, I know I asked y'all to read last time, and I promised y'all some funds rants that I didn't post because obviously shit happened. And the one thing I ain't gonna do is be promoting for motherfuckers for free anymore, but um, or promoting motherfuckers for free in general, right? But I do want to ask you guys to privy yourself to the 
the dopeness that is Fred Hampton. I, I promise you, you won't regret it. I promise you it'll be beneficial. I'm not gonna say it's gonna change your life or anything, but it will open your eyes to a lot of things. The, the violence they accuse the Black Panthers of. And Judas and the Black Messiah does a great job of it. They weren't violent. I mean, they could be, but it was like when the brothers, the militia was marching in Georgia, right? Like it wasn't about, it was literally to show force. We need you to understand that we got guns too. I need you to understand that we got guns too. I need you to understand that we know how to use them. I, know, I need you to understand that we need the gangsters to pop shots on the roof. We will defend our communities. It's sad that we have to do that in 2020, but it is what it is, right? So, in the memory of the Black Panthers, of Fred Hampton, and of Huey P. Newton, happy birthday. While it's still Black History Month, devote some of your attention, some of your energy, some of your visual, you have all of it to, to that. I, I promise you won't regret it. It will be mutually beneficial and definitely beneficial to your soul. So, thank you. I go by the name of Prophet McFly. If you already know, if you don't know, I need you to like, subscribe, or dislike. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think, feels, how deep you are in the, your personal education about Mr. Uh, Mr. Newton, Huey P. Newton. And yes, Huey Freeman from the Boondocks was named Huey after Huey P. Newton, the character. And I don't know if they're like, in character, like his grandfather, parents named him after that, but the character was named after uh, the great Huey Newton. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't want you to watch some boondocks. Watch, take in some actual Huey Newton and then tell me if what you're taking in, what you're reading, seeing, matches what you were told about the Panthers and about him in particular. I'm out in the front. Young Michael, other Marcus Garvey. There's, there's dudes out there that give you like heavy Christmas addicts vibes. And Chewie wasn't one of those. He could, obviously. He, he There's moments when you get scary, but he was one of those guys. You have to kill these narratives. And the way we do this by celebrating and living in our own history. Thank you for tuning in. You know I love y'all. Happy Black History Month. Peace. Oh, and it's always playtime.